When they hit this field last year, some of these players represented Saunders High School, the Blue Devils. But that football team no longer exists. Saunders students now wear the red jerseys of the Yonkers Brave after an unprecedented merger of eight teams into two. You guys are the ones that could say, you know, my senior year, we were the first one. Last year, the eight Yonkers Public High Schools fielded eight football teams, or at least tried to. One of the teams folded after the first game, the other at the end of the season. Too many injuries, not enough replacement players. And budget troubles are so bad, Yonkers has considered eliminating sports altogether. I really just think it's a great opportunity that we have being able to come together, four schools apiece, and uh, really compete. The merger has the Brave partnering with firefighters, while players on the force will align with cops. Both services have agreed to support the young men on and off the field. We're just looking forward to helping them stay in school, doing well, and uh, having a great life. I believe it's a way to connect the police with the community and the kids that are growing up in that community. Players say they worried about suiting up with guys who were on rival teams just last year. It's a uh, different but I feel it hasn't been so difficult because everybody has the same plan. Everybody wants to grow. Everybody wants to get better. And everybody wants to win. We'll see who comes out on top when the Brave battles the force on October 12th. In Yonkers, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And despite the merger, Yonkers restored the junior varsity team.